it's Al Crafter Boy here with a super special review for you today. Notice it's super special because when I do one of these, I'm just going to have a deluxe figure or two big figures. Which I'm here with my um, Human Alliance, Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Mech Tech, Bumblebee, and Sam Witwicky. Witwicky. Very strange name. Very cool sound. The box shows a very detailed picture of Bumblebee. Yep. This is the back of the box. This is what the box looks like. With um Bumblebee carrying um Sam. Really good looking Bumblebee. Well, concept art. I really, really want to get it open and show you what it looks like, guys. Um, there's Sam sitting on sitting on on Bumblebee with um machine gun on top there, and um, he's holding Bumblebee holding um Sam. Sorry, I forgot his name. There's a strength level. He's, he's six. He's eight. He's really smart. Not super smart, but he's still smart. He's fast. He's six. Endurance five. Not much endurance. His rank five. He has courage ten. His fire blast is weak ass. I mean, so weak that barely does anything. And then um, there. His skill is nine, so he's he's pretty skilled. He would do anything to save him, cause he's his protector basically. So yeah, very dedicated to saving Sam. And now, if we pan the camera over here, we have um a NECA Terminator. Ooh, amazing! This guy was only fourteen ninety nine at Toys R Us. FYE to me was a little high on the price. $16.99 from the first movie, $16.99. I, I, I hardly couldn't believe it. I was like, this movie brought in a lot of box office, but Terminator 2 Judgment Day was really awesome. It brought a little bit more box office than the first one, I think. And they sell it, they're selling those toys for, for $5 now. When this one's like sixteen ninety nine, it's from the first movie. Uh, I get it from me the first movie. It's um, a uh, uh, very very classic item, although it was made like in the year two thousand seven, I think. I am not sure. Should say it's somewhere around here. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I forget about it. I don't like to find those ages 18 and up. That's it. Yeah. That's all I can tell you for now. Okay, let me get these guys open and we will start our super special review. And just to, for the fun of it, because Transformers 3 just came out, um, I'm going to start with Human Alliance Bumblebee, okay? This this first part is just for, tra for Transformers fans. And if you don't like it, and you're more of a Terminator fan, you could skip to this. It's probably going to be like five, six minutes. And then I'll start talking about this one after that time period, okay? Here, here we have um, Bumblebee in our own form with inverted colors. It looks like pretty cool. I like the way it makes it look really cool. You can actually use this guy as um. You can actually use him as uh, as like a real life car. Like, if you want to play with your race cars, you just like use this guy as Camaro. If you don't have a a diecast Camaro, it does look pretty realistic to me. To me, that's me. 
And here we have little midget Sam. He's actually smaller than his um other counterpart that comes with the He's actually way smaller than his counterpart that comes with the huge bumblebee um sorry about that. Um with the 22 inch bumblebee. Well, not the 22 inch, like 12 inch or something like that. I don't know. Here he is. Um, yeah. Big Sam, little Sam. Big Sam, little Sam. Little Sam. Little Sam, come to you. What? You're so small, you can make a little bit. What? I'm not doing that. I'm not here. Yeah, son. Wow, you're okay. Come on. I'm craving it. Yeah, there's, lo there's loads of funny things you can do with these two action figures. Uh, this little guy right here, he has very, very detailed uh, face. It's really detailed. It looks like Sam. Makes you believe it's Sam. It looks like Sam, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Um... His head is kind of like on a pole joint. Same for his little waist. His little waist on a pole joint. And then his arms are like on a swivel ball joint. Both of them. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. You know, the legs swivel like that. Uh, yeah, you, you know the rest, the knees, yeah, pretty cool, and you can actually have them resting right here, right there, and if you have a Michaela door, I mean, a Michaela action figure, you can actually recreate the famous scene, with the making out on top of Bumblebee, yeah, it's just funny, it's just funny, um, yeah, it's so nice comparison time with the two Bumblebees on, yeah, you can tell right off the bat that this bumblebee is way, way bigger than this one. It's like this one's so big, this one's huge, enormous. And that's how big he is. Pretty big. Yeah, this one looks more, probably, looks more like the carbon bottom with all that chain mail and everything. All the, all the chassis and everything. <coughs> Chases. And, um, yeah, this bumblebee just has himself in the bottom right there. That's, yeah, you can only see bumblebee. Just like him. His robot form. Not completely robot form. Oh. Detail for each of these cars is very awesome. Um, like I said, my original video of this guy, he looks pretty good, but... I've moved on to this guy. The detail on the grill of the car, that looks so amazing. Beats this one where it's just only painted. This one's actually sculpted. Well, this one's sculpted, but you can really see it. it's all black. This one has a blackish pearlescence to it where you can actually see everything. And the Chevy logo just looks even better than this one than this one. This little yellow thingy, and this is just like a red around the little black thing. So yeah, it's better. On this guy's side, he has nothing. Um, on this guy's side, says Camaro on there. Because he's Camaro. No wonder. On the back, on his license plate, it just says 900 STRA. I don't know if you can see that with the camera. I don't know if you can see that, if you're seeing that, yeah. And then this guy, he just says B. B, which is even better. And I love that the logo and the lights are all painted and the exhaust are sculpted and painted. Yeah, that's really good. Whereas on the back of this one, the logo is not painted at all in yet. You can barely even see it in between there. And the exhaust are sculpted, but they're all yellow, so yeah. Yeah. Well, um, here he is all transformed and um, here he and I just put his um, his mask on, his battle mask, whatever you call it, whatever it's called, I don't know. 
Uh, one's battle mode. It's very simple, just so it just goes up like this. Uh, there, yeah, just put that down over. Yeah, it looks, looks very good. Yeah, it looks very cool. Okay, um, yeah, there he is in his battle mode. Yeah, it's just completely, really amazing figure. Um, uh, the detail is just amazing on it, uh, everything about it I love. It's, it's just a very cool figure. It has lots and lots of playability to it, um, not just with its transformer, but also with its car. <clears throat> and I can tell you now that it's gonna go good to my Ravage. It's probably gonna go good to my Ravage. This Ravage was, like, what, this tall compared to, and more, like, around here, like, half the size or something, yeah. So I'm gonna make them fight each other, play around if I even play with this guy. Um, I'm gonna make Ravage try to kick his ass by the end. We're gonna go with the He rips his tail off. Like, just all the guts fly out. Well, that's all for now, and, um, stay tuned for the Terminator review. It's gonna be part two, I think. Um, hey guys, um, here he is. Here's the Terminator figure, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Unfortunately, on my figure, it's, um, broken. Oh, no, never mind. It's fixed, it's good, never mind. Um, this figure is pretty amazing. Um, it has very amazing detail, um, uh, the T-800 was the first one, which is basically a prototype for the original. The 1300 was the first one, the prototype, um, you see here that it has all the head, uh, head work size, hopefully accurate, everything. Pops out, like it says. Everything pops out, it says, oh, it's turning, actually, it's turning. Um, yeah, the joints work perfectly, um, and the joints work with this kind of, uh, like, system that, yeah, it just has, um, the actual pumping hydraulics, hydraulics. Very cool, um, and that's what, um, and that's what this figure is, um, where the bomb, pumping bomb, like, hey, uh, I love this in a second, just, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. There you go, I think there's where he pulled out, pulls out his own, his energy cell or something like that, um, that's a really cool added extra to this figure, um, they also added these little flaps, tail flaps, whatever you call them, and, great idea what they did on, they actually added on the name, the company it says TM, Studio Canal, Image, SA, and the other one I think it just says, um, not then, I think, it's, oh, it's actually not that one, Nika, 2000, oh, it's 2009, that one, made in China, well, this guy, um, yeah, this guy's pretty good, pretty good, I'm gonna just set it up for you, so you guys can Wait a second, just yeah. Um, here are all of them together for the size of the time. Um, here you have, um, T600, T800, T700, and the very small one, For some reason, he's the smallest one, he just, um, he has to go overpowered, but T800. Well, he didn't really go overpowered, but the T800 was already fucked up. You know, with all, like, nothing, frozen, crap, he was already dismantled from all the shit that happened to him, so, yeah. So, pretty much, this guy was a disadvantage, and it's that guy, but... In a real-world fight, like, T-800 probably beat the trip. The uh, trip or any of them. Because T-800's just way too strong for So, okay, yep. I'm for a test reason. I just changed the hand from open to close like a punch and a little bit. And I'm also just going to use phaser machine gun, phaser 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 gun, Oh, he has accessories, but other than that, this figure has very amazing detail, um, lots of points of articulation, I can't even begin to tell you, but he's pretty articulated all over the place, you know, he's a Terminator, he's gotta be articulated. Oh, he can probably, he can do a very good looking split, uh, something that would hurt a human, or hurt him. Yeah, so.